Good evening. Thanks for joining us for the news at seven. I'm Dawn Baker. Right now you're looking at video a viewer shared with us of damage in Fleming, Georgia during our coverage of Idalia on yesterday. Now that's where the National Weather Service says there was a tornado on the ground for three minutes near Mount Olivet Church Road. Our Haley Boland went there today and brings us the very latest. Trees damaged several homes across Liberty County, according to the county's emergency management. And one of them was this home right here on Mount Olivet Church Road. A long, long time. It's really, it's going to take a while to clean. When June Laughlin came home from work yesterday, she found a tree had fallen on top of her house and several in her yard uprooted by the tornado that touched down near her home in Fleming. I'm just glad I wasn't here because I... I am alive in this material things that can be repaired. According to Liberty County Emergency Management, falling trees damaged three buildings around the county, with more than two dozen trees reported down in total. EMA Director Bob Dodd says he's happy with his team's response. You know, you can always build on what you got, but overall I was satisfied with everybody in the EOC and all the residents by heeding to our messages. Some buildings like this business along Oglethorpe Highway in Hinesville had some close calls with trees nearly missing the building. But some people like Laughlin weren't so lucky. According to a preliminary report from the National Weather Service, Fleming's tornado had wind speeds as high as 85 miles per hour and traveled about half a mile near Mount Olivet Church Road. Tore down one half of the shop, two vehicles in the shop that's partially damaged. Laughlin says thankfully no one was home when the tree fell on her house and everyone is safe. The tree damaged the bedroom, bathroom, and a portion of the living room. The ceiling is sinking in as of now, but I partially fixed the roof. I put a um, tarp tin on it for the time being. The storm has passed, but tornado cleanup will continue. As for what's next for the family that lives in this home, Laughlin says they're just taking each day one step at a time. In Liberty County, Haley Boland, WTOC News.